An international think tank forum on building a global community of shared future has taken place in eastern China city of Wuhu in Anhui province. It gathered over 50 scholars and experts from nearly 20 countries and regions across Asia, Africa, Europe and the Americas. Proposed by China in 2013, the concept has evolved into a comprehensive framework for addressing global challenges, with the Belt and Road Initiative being a key platform for its implementation. Speaking to CGTN, some of the forum's participants shared their views on the event's joint vision. I always tell people when I go and give lectures that the Belt and Road Initiative deals with uh, the infrastructure projects, like making buildings, making roads. So the building and road, they, they don't talk with each other. Uh, the human beings have to interact with each other. And the human part of it is the community of shared future, uh, which is playing and which will be playing the major role in days and years to come. The community with shared future for mankind and also the Battle Road Initiative as materialization of uh, this concept are crucial to build uh, a new international order in which, until now, Global South wasn't included. I think it's an initiative, the only one which is stressing the accent on a change and not on the maintaining of status quo, in which we unfortunately can see only contradictions and disequalities. Those ones who are dominant in the, in the, in the economy, as far as Africa is concerned, they are not welcoming this idea for the Africans. But we have to struggle right now, since the Chinese are coming up with a number of facilities which would lay down at least infrastructure element whereby it could connect African states. And African states together can always move forward because they can do trade by themselves. People moving, uniting, and therefore peace, understanding will come. I come from a collectivistic uh, community. Uh, we had a long tradition of sharing, growing together, solving our problems together, but somehow we lost that good tradition. I realized it was time for us to go back to our origins. I am because we are, and we are because I am. This is what we have in Africa. This vision of building a global community with a shared future uh, speaks to that African long heritage, long tradition.